So this is my first guitar. And as you can see, it's seen, uh, seen better days. I haven't seen this thing in about 12 years and it's been stuck at the back of a cupboard somewhere gathering dust. I drew all over it, put stickers on it because that's really cool when you're 12 years old. It is a stag of some kind and it only cost about 100 quid, I think. And like most cheap first guitars, I remember this thing being awful. So I have rescued this thing from its grave because I want to see if it's actually any good. 10, 15 years later, let's put this thing back together and see if it is good or as bad as I remember. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I'll let you know the good, the bad and the ugly about this guitar. So the good stuff. Well, that didn't sound anywhere near as bad as I remember it sounding. I remember this guitar sounding noisy and kind of meh, and that's still true for the bridge pickup. However, I found that if you switch to the middle position and the neck pickup, 
things become much more interesting. The tone when using those positions was very much improved. I actually tracked the rhythm guitars for this song on the middle position and the solo using the neck. Okay, so what about the bad stuff? Well, in all honesty, there isn't much bad stuff. The action was very high, but that's because I couldn't actually find the adjustment tool for the truss rod. I guess I must have lost it somewhere in the last decade, so let's move on to the ugly stuff. Now, I don't know whether you can see it, but there is something quite badly wrong with the construction of this guitar. I noticed that when I was putting it back together, the neck joint was quite loose and had quite a lot of wiggle room to it. Also, if you look at the guitar from the front, you can see there's quite a lot more space between the fretboard and the string on this side than there is on the other side. That means that either the neck joint is wonky or the bridge isn't centered. So maybe I'm splitting hairs here and I'm making more of this than I should because you barely notice it. However, what it means is that the further and further you go up the fretboard, the more out of tune your intonation is going to get. So yeah, I can see that being a problem unless you like being out of tune all the time. So what was your first guitar? Do you still have it? And is it any good? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and you can subscribe over here. Check out my Patreon over here if you want to support what I do and get exclusive extras for all my videos. And you can check out some of my other videos over here. Thanks for watching everybody. And until next time, my name is Pete and I play music.